Journey Along with Shannon. Journey Along with Shannon is living life one day, one experience at a time. And for the last eight months, she's been sharing her life on YouTube. Even Pumpkin and Lily are in on it. What must they think about being on camera all the time? Yeah. Shannon and the family are full of interesting takes on life, like upcycling restaurant salad onions and making something I think I saw in the movie Shrek. <laughs> There's a lot of cooking going on over at Journey Along with Shannon. Some of the titles are very peculiar. Grilling and enjoying our fur babies. They sure got a lot out of them then. <laughs> they're fine. They're fine. See? Lots of pumpkin and lily videos to see. Shannon doesn't eat her friends. She live chats with them. Journey Along with Shannon also visits and reviews state and national parks because she really enjoys nature so much that she puts the trowel down and gets in the dirt on purpose. And they love their grill. Wait, grills. So if you're into gardening, chatting with the garden, homestead, travel community, or you just want to see what certain state and national parks have to offer, check out Journey Along with Shannon. Lori's World. Lori has so much going on, her about section can't cover it all. So check out her website to see more of what Lori offers than can fit in a YouTube video. When you hear Lori's world, it sounds like this. And she has made doll furniture, but it's more like this. And this. Lori's specialty is poured paint. Now there's more to pouring paint than just dumping a bottle. It's called fluid art. And it's made with various techniques of pouring paint. Lori's world features poured paint, but also her garden, love of web design, and crafts. And they all swirl around the channel, reacting and blending as she interacts with you, YouTube land, and the world around her. And then, somehow, it combines together to make interesting and visually organic motifs. Lori also loves using Thrive freeze-dried foods in her many recipes. Many recipes. Between the gardening and the craft room DIYs, I don't know how Lori finds the time for her other ventures or for hitting the comments everywhere all over YouTube. So, ready to get blending with Lori's world? Paige Family Homestead, our journey back. The Page family tired of city life and moved back in time. They actively searched for a homestead so they can be in control of their own food sources. So from growing meat and vegetables to the various ways to cook and preserve it all, some of them are kind of questionable. <laughs> I wasn't aware you could even eat that part of the monkey, but each his own. I have so many questions, though. <laughs> Did the witch fingers really come from a witch? Who was Sweet Marie? And what are dehydrated chicken dog snacks really made of? <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> Strange indeed. Strange indeed. And they dehydrate stuff I never thought could be any drier. They also have lots of videos on fermenting and canning foods that they buy and they grow. And they love critters in more than just a skillet. Ooh, ooh, careful, don't choke it. <laughs> there, much better. Whew. When you want to see more than turkeys and chickens and dogs, there are the garden videos. I'm telling you. If you ever wanted to see people who retired to the country for the second time and are taking to homesteading like their lives depending on it, you're going to want to see Paige Family Homestead, Our Journey Back. Traveling, Yorkies, Griffons, and life. Paint pouring and a techie good time. Homesteading the old way and... <laughs> I'm sorry, the monkey balls got me. <laughs> are these your people? <laughs> 